Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 498. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 494 to 501. Oh, in this video here, we're going to do a pivot table, and we're going to see these things. We're going to see how to create a pivot table, how to group integers, which is totally different than grouping numbers that have decimals in them in a pivot table. I'm not going to talk much about that, but if you want to see the difference, watch this video right here. It goes into excruciating detail about the difference between how a pivot table groups integers and decimals. Uh, and then we're going to see how to count numbers or calculate a frequency. Then we're going to do percent of column total, running total in, and boom, we are going to see one of the new pivot table features in Excel 2010, percent running total in. Now, I do this calculation often in my statistics class and this 26 right here shows you how we used to have to do it. We'd build a pivot table and build a formula outside the pivot table but now there's this great new percentage running total in. All right here's our data set. It's just a small data set so we can see these six different things. In uh, 2007 and 10 you go to insert pivot table pivot table or use the keyboard shortcut Alt N V T, Alt N V T, one step wizard. It got the data right. A no new sheet. I want to say existing sheet. I actually want to build it right. You got to leave a few rows above blank and um, for the uh, report filter. So I'm going to click maybe right there and then click OK. Now I have my settings uh, .xls set here, so this pops up. If you don't want to see, this is the old uh, interface. You can right click Pivot Table Options, and under Display, you can say Classic Pivot Table. Get rid of it. If you like it, that's a great thing to turn on, because some people like the old one where you drag to the sheet. Now, Sales. We did a pivot table. Now let's group them, because we want to show 0 up to 4, 5 up to 9 groups. So I'm going to drag the sales to the row area. Oops, I already had it grouped. Ungroup, I'm going to ungroup. So there it is. Uh, now we want to group. So I'm going to right click somewhere here and say group. I'm going to start with 0, ending at 15, and I'm going to go in groups of 5. Now what Integer, oh, let's click OK. The labels that pop out when you do integers, the lower and the upper limits are included for any count. We haven't done the count yet. Uh, when you do decimals, it's uh, different. The upper end limit is not included. It's only the lower uh, limit. But for decimals, that's the way it pops up. We have 0 to 4. Now, what do we do? We drag the sales down to the values, and just like that, we get a count. Now, I'm going to come over here and change this. We could go to the value field settings, but if it's just the uh, label at the top, I'm, you can just type it, frequency. All right, now let me scoot this way over here if I can. Oh, I don't know why it's not letting me. Uh... Oh, well, there it goes. No, but then you click in here. Why is it not letting me? All right, well, uh, I'm going to scoot this over here a little bit just for now. We want to add a uh, new field. We want to do a few, a bunch more calculations. Actually, now I can scroll over here. <coughs> Why don't I color code this? This was the yellow. Isn't that cool one in a pivot table? You see that? It, it highlights uh, that group. I clicked outside. Let's try that again. I'm going to do the home ribbon and then uh, that one. And then for this group, I'm going to do orange. And then the, for this group, I'll do uh, red. Right? And then I already co color coded. Now, let's add some more fields. You can just drag it down to the value area. I can't use the keyboard shortcuts because it'll turn off to that. That is uh, Alt F1, but then it turns off my, I mean, Control F1 to hide and unhide this, but it turns off my recorder. All right, now, drag the sales down here. Two of them, what, what is that? Well, we can uh, do that, and um, now we want a percentage of the total. So here I want 3 divided by 11, 5 divided by 11, 3 divided by 11. So I right click, go down to Value Field Settings, and oh, this is so awesome, Show Values As. I'm going to go um, percent 
of column total. Well, we only have one item here. It is the column. Notice the, the column is and then there's a, bottom, a number at the bottom of the column. So you have to pick a percent of column total and then click OK. It shows us uh, the percentages. Now I'm going to uh, click up here and type percent of total. We only have one total, so that will suffice here. Now I'm going to drag this down here again. Wow, that's getting pretty crowded. By the way, you could change the uh, look here. Um, well, we're going to have one more, so before I change the look, I'm going to drag this down here again. Then I'm going to change the look just to, so we can see just this. Now we want to show um, a running total, which has been around for a long time. Right click, value field settings, show values as. And then we have to say uh, down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, running total in. Now it's going to want to know what the base field is. We only have one, but in other pivot tables you have lots, and so you have to tell it what is the running total in. Well, it's sales. Um, in fact, i got to show you something cool. In 2007, they added something new on, up under Options, uh, Calculations. They have uh, a ribbon element that says show, uh, show Values As. So you would click this, and if I select Running Total In, it pops up and it asks me, hey, which is the field, uh, what's the base field? Click OK. So now this is a running total. What this means, a running total, is uh, up to this, in this class there's three, up to this class there's eight. It means uh, from a sale of nine or fewer, there were eight total sales. Now the final thing is we want to see the percent. We want to be able to do that. And this is where in earlier versions you just couldn't do it inside of a pivot table. Right click, value field settings. Show value as, and you come down here, and this is just totally cool. There's a bunch of new uh, things in pivot tables. Percent running total in. Uh, base field is sales. I'm going to click OK. And sure enough, there we have it. So we have uh, group some data, frequency, percent of total. A Oh, we need to label these. This is the, uh, I'm such a bad speller, total, cumulative total. And this will be, um, percent cumulative total. We could also add some uh, wrap, something like that. Okay, and what this means is here, right? We said nine or fewer, there was eight. But here it means uh, nine or fewer, whatever that's, whether it's units or, or uh, dollars or whatever. Uh, 70, approximately 73% of the values occurred at nine or fewer uh, dollars or units or whatever there was. So there it is. Um, some fun things in pivot tables. Uh, and this is the new one. Um, the uh, percent uh, running total in. All right, we'll see you next trick.